Hello and welcome to Torrell's Point. In this video, we are going to understand the count ifs function in Excel. Now, here we have this sample data set of name, region, and sales. All right, and this is our question. We want to find out how many salesperson or how many salespeople achieved above fifty thousand dollars in sales in the West region. So we have multiple criteria here. So we are looking for those people who have achieved fifty thousand dollars in sales, but in the West region. For this purpose, we are going to use the count ifs function. So here I'll write equals count ifs and then open parenthesis. Now we have to write the criteria range one. In this case, we are going to first look at the region. We have the West region, right? So I'm going to select the region column and then comma. Now inside the region column, I am looking for West. So I'll write here West and then comma. Then we have the criteria range two. Now in this case, we are looking for salespeople who have achieved above $50,000. So we are going to select the entire sales column and then another comma. And then we are looking for the people who have achieved greater than $50,000. I'll close the quotes and the parenthesis and hit enter. And the answer is two. That means we have two salespeople who have achieved above $50,000 in sales in the West region. This being the first one and this being the second one. Now, let's look at another example to practice further. So here, I'll click on sheet two. And in sheet two, we have another sample data. We have the order ID, we have product and its status, whether the product has has been shipped or it is pending. Now our task is to find out how many orders of laptops are still pending. So here again, I'll use the count ifs function in this cell. I'll write equals count ifs and then open parenthesis. For the criteria range one, what I'll do is I'll look for laptops. So basically I'll select this entire product column and then comma and then the criteria is going to be, I'm looking for a laptop. And then I'll close the parenthesis, sorry, the quotation marks and then comma. And then for the criteria range two, I'm looking for the order status, whether it is pending, right? So I'll select this status column and then comma. And inside this, I am looking for the pending items. Then I'll just write the codes and the closing parenthesis and hit enter. And as you can see, there are two orders of laptops that are still pending. So this is the first one that is still pending. And then this is the second one that is still pending. And as you can see, others are already shipped. So this is another use case of count ifs function. Now before ending the video, let's look at another example quickly. So here, let's click on sheet three. And here we have this example data set of employees, departments and their leave dates. All right. And now we want to find out how many employees from finance department requested leave on 15th of June 2025. Now, in this case, we have multiple criteria. We are looking for people from the finance department and then we are looking for their leaves on 15th of June. So in this case, we'll again use the count ifs function. I'll write here equals count ifs and then open parenthesis. And then for the criteria range one, we are going to look for the department. So I'll just select the entire department column and then a comma. And I am looking particularly for the finance department. And then another comma for the criteria range two, I am looking for the leave on 15th June, right? So I'll select the entire leave date column and then a comma. And then for the criteria, I am looking for this particular date of 15 June 2025. Then I'll just close the parenthesis and hit enter. And as you can see, we have three employees from finance department that have requested leave on June 15, 2025. Now let's uh, check it once. So this is the first person. And then this is the second person. And then this is the third person. 
Now, this one is also from finance, but their leave is on 16 and not on 15. Same is the case with this employee. So in total, we have three employees who have taken the leave on 15 June and they are from the finance department. So that will be enough for this video. Now you can download this practice sheet from the link in the description below. Make sure to like this video, share it with your Excel friends and I'll see you in the next one.